Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. Look, I'm going to show you why you need legitimate pay stubs. Not ones you just generate on your own. I'm talking about legitimate pay stubs because the banks have new systems and they can easily check and see if that's a legitimate pay stub. You need legitimate pay stubs and the five reasons you need those legitimate pay stubs is one, you may be trying to buy a vehicle for your business or under you personally. So you may be trying to buy like a commercial vehicle, like a truck, a van or something for your business. Or you may be a lawyer or attorney or something like that that you're self-employed and so you don't have pay stubs and stuff, but you want to have some type of nice vehicle. So you may want to drive a Benz or something like that. You may even decide you want to take it up a notch and you may want something really luxurious, something that looks more professional. So that's the reason why you need to have legitimate pay stubs. These people out here, oh, I can make you pay stuff. Do I'm telling you, the banks have new systems in place, and they're checking them, and you can get yourself caught up for fraud. So you don't want to do that. That's number one, buying a vehicle. Number two is investing into real estate. Or you may be trying to get you an apartment for your own self. You may be trying to uh, get you a house for yourself. And because you're self-employed, you do not, don't have, or 1099, you don't have proof that you have that income. And that's another reason you need pay stubs. Like here in Vegas, like here you go. Like they have houses and stuff you can buy. But again, if you're self-employed and you don't have the proper documentation, then you can't get in on this. Right, because a lot of people will buy these type of houses and stuff, and they may stay in one side and then rent out the other. So, being getting into the real estate game, you need to have pay stubs. All right, now let's talk about funding. Say that you need funding. Now, here's the company DreamSpring. Right, you need to show they may want you to show pay stubs. Most of the time, if you are self employed and the minimum credit score they need is at least a 620. So if you're coming in with a 620, a low credit score like that, and you're trying to get a line of credit, they may ask you for pay stubs, okay? Now, they pull uh, TransUnion FICO 9, and the, stone, and the loan is issued through Upstart, okay? But they li list you a, give, excuse me, but they give you a line of credit, even loans, a line of credit. I always tell people to go for that line of credit because it's revolving, but it's $50,000. But you need pay stubs for that. Now, if you're just talking about just a few thousand dollars and without the pay stubs, but you have to have your business bank account set up. And this is through Merchant Cash Advance. Then you got Fundo because they would actually give you a ten thousand uh, dollar Merchant Cash Advance. And so all the requirements for them is your bank needs to be able to connect with Plaid or Decision Logic. You need to be making revenue of at least fifteen hundred dollars, and you have to be in business at least ninety days. Okay, so you can get. Um, loans and stuff, but they're small dollar amount loans with without uh, pay stubs. But you don't want that. You want to actually have pay stubs so you can get larger amounts. Now, you also have Giggle Finance. Now, Giggle Finance, they give you up to $5,000 with no credit check. You know, they just looking at the business bank account to make sure you've been in business for at least 90 days. So, if you're in any of these here industries, you will qualify. Now, please understand, with this here type of loan, they're not in every state. But the thing about it is, if you're just trying to avoid pay stubs and stuff like this, this is where you want to go. Now, in terms of, let's look at some personal loans. So, like with Upgrade. Say upgrade usually uh, accept a 56580 credit score, but they want you to present them with um, pay stuff. You need pay stuff. Now, the interesting thing about this, because they, if you have a 56580 credit score they and you put your income on there, they're going to ask for documentation. Like I said, they usually want pay stuff. The interesting thing about it, like with upgrade, they will work with you uh, most of the time if you can produce those pay stubs.
All right. If you're able to produce those pay stubs and they want to check your bank account and stuff like that in order to get the funding. But yes, they will actually give you a loan. All right. Now, the interesting thing about this as well, they use a soft pull FICO 9. OK, so they will do a FICO 9. And as you can see here, their loans go anywhere from a thousand up to fifty thousand. All right. Then you have universal credit, universal credit. They will give you from a thousand up to fifty thousand. Now, their DTI, just like um, just like upgrade, the DTI for them is 70, 75 percent debt to income ratio so when you have bad credit if you have good income um, but the credit score is not good then you definitely may have to produce pay stubs all right now one of the places that i would suggest that you or i'll put a link in the description adp they offer pay stubs now here's the interesting thing of why you want to use adp because that uh fee that they charge when you generate that pay stub what they actually end up doing is reporting that as a trade line to Experian Business Credit File. And by them reporting that trade line to Experian Business Credit File, what that does is help your business credit profile. Okay, because a lot of banks, they pull from Experian Business or Equifax Business. Sometimes they pull from Small Business Financial Exchange. But the main thing is making sure you have those pay stubs in order to qualify for funding. All right. Now, there's one other reason I'll tell you that you need pay stubs. Say that you was in a car accident and you're self-employed and stuff like that. You need to show records so they can you can say, hey, I lost X amount of wages. Right. So when you lose that income from an accident or a medical situation or whatever, you want to be compensated for that. So in order for you to be compensated for that, you want to show them, hey, Here's proof that I was on payroll with my company and I wasn't able to work. And this is how much money I've been losing since of this situation. Now you're able to get reimbursed for that as well. All right. Now, if you have any questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, removing negative items off of the credit, click the link in the description. Schedule one on one consultation. Thank you.